What's up, everybody? It's Devontae. This is Reaper Training. Today, I actually want to get on a certain subject. So, just recently, I have purchased my first firearm. It's my baby. She loud. Hollow tips in that bitch. Purchased my first firearm, and uh, I guess what I wanted to get on this video, I got two things I want to touch on this video. So, first and foremost, I wanted to say that us as the black community, we all, we all need to get on this train of getting armed, right? Um, I've always been the type of individual, coming from up north, I live, uh, I'm from New York, lived in Connecticut for like eight years. So, gun laws up there are ridiculously strict. So, even if you, like, unless you're a street dude, you're probably not going to shoot no guns. And even if you are a street dude, getting your hands on guns is like a fucking... It's like a, it's like a, it's like a runaround. Like you gotta go two, three hours out and to these hick towns, and or you gotta do all this talking. It's like it's kind of difficult to get your hands on some good guns. Like, if y'all ever seen some of these, uh, these videos, like in New, like these New York rappers and stuff like that, a lot of those guns is props. If you look at some of the like the actual posts and you see these people posting their guns, they got these little fucked up revolvers, these old piece of shits. 22s and whatnot, because it's hard to get your hands on some, like, real guns out there. It's, the law is ridiculous. People got them, but, you know, so I'm not used to carrying guns. So for, like, the first few years I was in Virginia, I actually didn't get one. So I was like, you know, I kind of talked myself out of it. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need it. Uh, I could handle myself. I got my knife. I could fight. I uh, gotta. And then a mod, uh, um, a mod Arbery happened. And it really, I've always been pro-black. I've always been a proponent of, like, the Marcus Garveys, the Black Panthers, Huey P. Newtons, um, you know, black people fighting back against oppression, right? Arming themselves. I just didn't want to spend the money to do it, and I, I always taught myself out of it whenever it was time. But when Ahmaud Arbery happened, dog, I was like, and y'all saw my podcast, um, y'all know how I felt about it. I just kept thinking, bro, if, uh, what if Amar Aubrey was armed that day? He was already putting the beats on that fat motherfucker that grabbed him. If y'all saw the video, y'all saw he was putting the beats on his big, goofy ass. If Amar Aubrey was, had a gun on him that day, that man would be alive. We have two dead fucking races. And it's like, I really thought about it. And I was like, yo, it's, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a victim. They hanging people. There's been two hangings in California. I'm not gonna be a victim, 100. percent I'm not going like that, and you know, just where like we've been under the attack, but it's I'm just sick of black people. We're not victims. You know what I mean, that was part of the reason why like I've been trying to hashtag we we were never victims. We're not victims, 100. percent We come from warriors. Um, never been victims. You know what I'm talking about going way back to uh, King Hannibal. I mean, General Hannibal in Carthage going and destroying war, Rome on war elephants. We've never been, we've never been soft, man. We've never been victims. And we all need to be armed and prepared to defend ourselves and our family. That leads me to my next point. If y'all watch my podcast, I know how I feel about this democratic shit with like the black people. And we need, bro, and I said in the last video, I just want to reiterate it, bro. Embrace the art of free thought. Embrace it. I mean, embrace the idea of free thought. Y'all need to stop allowing these Democrats to persuade y'all to... Listen, I live in Virginia. And black people are talking about how Governor, Governor Northam's doing a great job. And he's all for Black Lives Matter. And he... I forgot this motherfucker had on blackface. He's a Democrat. Come on, man. We need to really understand that like and these democrats keep pushing this not to get all these guns and we don't need rifles and plates and stuff like that at the end of the day people are going to have them people gonna keep exercising that right and you're not going to take guns from people in this country it's been it's been engraved in our society too long it's not going to happen so we're just going to keep being the victims and letting people shoot and beat us up and hang us is that what the idea is, is that what the solution is I keep hearing people, black people talking about, you know, they don't want to get no guns. They don't need no guns. The guns need to be off the street. How? Put it like this, right? And for, for all of y'all who are trying to who are trying to be on this 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 democratic bandwagon with this gun shit, black people have been dying by automatic weapons 
and school shootings since the 80s, 70s. Democrats never gave a fuck. I don't remember hearing about gun reform when they had little girls in the hood getting hit with AK-47 rounds. I didn't hear about it. Now, a lot of y'all are going to get on the Black Lives Matter. We don't talk about that either. Don't worry, I'm going to touch on that too. But the Democrats don't give a fuck when that happens. They don't care, bro. When somebody goes and shoots up a school in a nice little suburban area, oh, you know, it's hell to pay. Y'all got to stop all these. Get these guns off the streets. But what about when we die? What about when our children die? Is there a difference if I'm shooting an AK in the, in, in the, in the, in the hood? Or is, is, is it cool to shoot an AK in the hood but not in the suburbs? Because children are still dying. Understand this. These murder rates you see in the Chicago, the 600 people. The, understand that a majority of them, at least, if, if you had to, I, I don't got no polls in front of me, but if I had to guess, I'd say at least 70% of those people dying are all teenagers. Or at least 25 and under. It's, it's, they don't give a fuck then. Y'all need to arm yourselves, man. We need to be strong. We need to embrace the fact that the world isn't going to stop hitting you because they because you march and protest and say that this is sad. I don't want to see that. It is what it is, bro. Survival of the fittest is real. That is a real thing. The weak get eaten. And we've never been weak. And we need to stop allowing people to come into our communities and, and, and teach us to be weak. And yet, now, I'm not going to be a dead horse. Like I said, go watch the When They See Us podcast. You're going to see what I say about it. But I'm not going to... I know my people... Anybody around me, we're not going to allow each other to be victims any longer. So, everybody in the black community needs to be armed by the end of the year. 100%. Exercise your Second Amendment rights. They don't see us as Americans in a lot of instances, but in this, they don't have a choice. So, it's Devontae's group training.